Princess Mary's husband Prince Frederick accused of being tone deaf and elitist after sailing event with friends. Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark is being accused of being tone deaf and elitist for traveling to France twice in one week while campaigning to reduce carbon emissions for a greener planet. Media in Denmark and Sweden are reporting the prince's movements, questioning his commitment to the environment while jetting back and forth between the French Riviera and Copenhagen for a private sailing event. Frederick was in the south of France for the sailing competition but returned to Denmark for a state council dinner at Fredensborg Palace with Crown Princess Mary, Queen Marguerite II and Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen on September 30. He then flew back to French Riviera to resume the sailing event with his friends, while Mary travelled to Lithuania for an official visit representing Denmark. Days later Prince Frederick went to Iceland for an official business trip promoting sustainability and green solutions, in supporting the country's push to reach carbon neutrality by 2040. In June, the future king resigned from his role with the International Olympic Committee after 12 years, to focus on improving Denmark's already impressive green credentials. The decision to resign gives me the opportunity to intensify my work on other important issues including in relation to Denmark's position as one of the world's leading nations in the green agenda, sustainability and innovation, Prince Frederick said in the statement. The story is being reported as Prince Frederick's wild day without Mary in Swedish magazine Svensk Dam. Denmark's her and new quotes communications expert Anne Kirsten Krannen, who says Prince Frederick portrays himself as a modern man with an interest in the climate but goes back and forth between Denmark and France for, something that is not strictly necessary for either him or the monarchy. It is enormously elitist and perhaps a little incomprehensible to the ordinary Dane, where, his, priorities lie, she said. Prince Frederick famously met his future wife, Mary, at the Sydney Olympics in 2000 and previously thought about trying out for Denmark's Olympic sailing team in 1996. The couple has come to Australia for various sailing events over the years, most recently in 2017 in Sydney. Prince Frederick has been back to France, again, weeks after the sailing competition but this time to represent Denmark. Next year's Tour de France will begin in Copenhagen before winding its way through the south of France and near Cahors where the Danish royals own a chateau and vineyard. The criticism of Prince Frederick's private travel mirrors that leveled at Britain's Prince Harry, who has regularly opted for private jets over commercial flights. In September, the Duke of Sussex flew via a private plane after a short visit to New York with the Duchess of Sussex, weeks before his ecotourism venture Travelis teamed up with Google to help people find more sustainable travel options. private jets over commercial flights. In September, the Duke of Sussex flew via a private plane after a short visit to New York with the Duchess of Sussex, weeks before his ecotourism venture Travelist teamed up with Google to help people find more sustainable travel options.